Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Royal Caribbean suite experts, and guess where we are? I got a big smile on my face, and that is because right over there I see Perfect Day, and right over there I see Coco Key, Coco K, Coco Bongo, doesn't matter how you pronounce it, you're gonna have a perfect day here because it is incredible. I was able to experience the entire thing first, now we're gonna take you on a tour through every single space here, including the cabanas, and your mind is going to be blown. There is no comparison at all in my mind to any other private island out there, period. I have been to them. I've cruised since I was a little kid. I've been on well over 100 cruises, and my first time at Coco Cay was in 1991 on board the Nordic Empress when this was a brand new concept uh, in the industry even. It was kind of a, a new thing going on, and I, I loved it then. I, my mind was blown. We went snorkeling and did, uh, well, hung out by the pool, hopped in the beach, all the things that you do. And now what my daughter is going to be able to do is un Believable. There's so much going on. In fact, we kind of come upon the very, very first thing. As soon as we get here, we have Captain Jillian's Galleon. What this is, is a kid's play area. Maybe for whatever reason, you don't want to go in and experience all of Coco Cay. You want to get back on the ship because you got some really awesome things planned. This is the perfect place for that because you can hop off with the kids. They've got some slides in there. They've got a lot of fun things going on. There are lifeguards on duty. And now I, I've been waiting for this for a really, really long time. Thrill Water Park. Right behind me is the largest slide in North America. There's a few biggest and largest and fastest here throughout all of Coco Cay, but this particular one is what it's all about. Everybody's been going bonkers over all the new water slides on board the ship. <laughs> this is well, taller than the ships. In fact, this goes up about as high as the North Star does. All right, with this epic water slide behind me, just in front of me is actually the very first of the zip lines. There's plenty of ways that you can go to Thrill Island Water Park. So I just wanna make sure that you understand that it is an additional cost. There's a couple ways to do it, like I mentioned. So the very first one is to get a cabana. If you get a cabana, every single person in that cabana does get complimentary access. They get the wristband and they can do all the water slides and everything in the water park. You can also purchase a la carte. And then I've seen some packages as well where they bundled together the zip lines and the water park. So just something that you wanna consider uh, before you go. I do highly recommend that you book in advance, monitor the pricing, it is dynamic pricing. So as it fills up, they will actually raise the price. This is a really big thing when you're talking about Christmas and uh, New Year's and different holidays and things along those lines. And then right down here, you have a ton of lockers. It's important to have them in here because you have the water park just out there. You cannot bring any loose items at all on the slide. So keep that in mind, no loose items whatsoever. Drop them off here, punch in the code. They are complimentary. Um, I, I really appreciate that they have these all throughout the entire island. All right, so behind me is, well, the largest slide in North America. I know I said that again. It is so exciting to have that here, but you also have a ton of other slides. These are Dueling Demons racer slides right here. If you uh, sit over here at the bottom, have a little picnic, a little snack, you can hear everybody screaming as they come down. And what I love about it is it screams of joy. As I walk around this place, there's giant smiles on everybody's face, especially at the you know, bar. And once again, here's a great bar. So bar, view, uh, and then on the other side, you're gonna have cabanas. Uh, the cabanas are another great place to be, especially if you wanted to sit and uh, maybe you have your grandkids or your kids that are coming down the slides and you know they're gonna like the more extreme ones, that's it. But you wanna make sure that you pick the cabana that fits with your personality. It's gonna be in the spot where you wanna spend the most time. So one thing that I wanted to give Royal a huge shout out about is the way that they made this island the most accessible of any of the private islands in existence. You can see this is all paved here. Recently, I uh, had a herniated disc in my back, still do, uh, but I was in a ton of pain, and one of the ways that I was able to alleviate it was to use a scooter on the cruise. And I had never been more aware of accessibility issues and how hard it is to get around. And what I just saw was, uh, you know, grandma uh, scooting by here on a scooter, which allows her to be part of the entire uh, family experience. And then throughout all the pools, they do have lifts, and they've gone out of their way to really, really make it incredibly accessible. But the, the star of the show right here is behind me. It is the largest wave pool in all the Caribbean. You're looking at almost six feet deep on the far end. Inside here, you can stand with the kids. Once again, life jackets are right there. There's a ton of them. See a ton of parents in there with the, with the kids and having a great time. I know my daughter absolutely loves it at the beach and she's gonna love this as well. If you want it a little bit more on the extreme side, go to the edges of the, the water park. Keep in mind, we are still inside the Thrill Water Park. This is all part of the water park entry fee that you either get as part of the cabanas. You can see a couple of the cabanas here in the background, a couple more cabanas over there, and then the ships back behind me just for reference. All right, so now we're headed into the first of the snack shacks. There is a ton of food 
all throughout the entire island. And right now, I think I'm going to lead it off with a shake, shack burger. I mean, it's at the top of the menu. You always start at the top, right? That's the way to go. And then some beautiful grilled vegetables. So follow me on over here. Once again, what makes this place special is all of the amazing smiles, the amazing people. Everybody asks the same questions. It's pretty funny, actually. Everybody asks the same question as where, uh, you know, where do you live? Do you take a ferry here every single day? Here's the answer. There's just shy of 500 Royal Caribbean employees on the island here. They actually live just behind here. So I'd be happy to live next to a snack shack personally, I'm just, I'm just saying, but they live here. Royal Caribbean has an agreement with the government um, that makes sure that you have local employment here, which I think is fantastic. And then every day when the ship comes in, you do have crew that comes off and assists with different uh, pieces of the puzzle. But enough of that for right now. I'm gonna sit down and pig out. So before I dig in, and every time before I dig in, I know we don't always get that on video, just pointing that out, but it's so important for you to wash your hands because it is everybody who's on a cruise, it's every single person's responsibility that you wash your hands as ton as possible because it is humans that, uh, that cause issues, basically. All right, please, please, please wash your hands. There's my public service announcement for the day. And then I'm gonna head over to the drink area of the shack the snack shack. You also have a small buffet here. You've got some pineapple, different kinds of melons. On the other side, you have all the fixings for the burger. So if you wanna make it, uh, well, exactly what you want, that's what vacation's all about. And over here, you have barbecue sauce, ranch dressing, uh, all the Heinz condiments that you would expect. And they even have olive oil and vinegar. Cookies, they're good. I've had quite a few. I'm not gonna start quite yet. All right. And then I just wanted to point out right here, you have lemon, lime, strawberry, kiwi, tropical mango, and water. They have these throughout the entire Coco Cay. In fact, you're never very far away from water. Please, 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 my other public service announcement, especially at the beginning of the video here, drink lots and lots of water, put on lots and lots of sunscreen. I'm gonna continue to reapply. I'm pretty pasty, so I'm probably gonna burn anyways, but I'm gonna do my absolute best to stay out of the sun when I can and drink tons of fluids all day. All right, so now we are at the very beating heart, the center of all thrill and adventure at the park. You can see the giant water slides that are a work of art behind me, the ships with their water slides and I fly as well. And then right here, you've got a rock climbing wall, just like Royal Caribbean has on all of their ships. You also have all kinds of obstacles that you can walk around and do and participate in. Kids are loving it. I'm seeing a lot of ton of smiles. And then right above me, you actually have a zip line that's gonna cut just over the pool. One thing that's fun with the zip line is if you are a bigger guy like me, you're gonna go a lot faster than some of the kids. They go pretty slow. Also on the slides, if you are a, uh, a dad with a dad bod like I am, you're gonna get some super duper speed. Next, we're gonna point out Splash Summit. This is a place that I know that my daughter and I will go on a ton of times. They've got the huge raft ride. In fact, it's a beautiful piece of architecture as well. A ton more slides. And as we continue along the adventure pool here, you can see all the smiles, hear all the screams, the squeals of delight. Uh, this is what Royal Caribbean Cruise is all about. All right, so now we're gonna head into a Thrill Water Park Cabana, but before I do, I wanted to point out a couple things. To me, this is one of the best values on Coco Key because you're gonna get entrance for everybody, up to eight people into the water park. And sometimes that, the cost is actually less to get a cabana for everybody than to buy the individual independent tickets. In addition to that, you got a great place to hang out, relax, kind of a home base as you explore all of these different adventures. Right here as you walk in, you've got these sun loungers. You can put your booty in the lounger, toes in the sand. Uh, that's a great part where you actually have the beach up here, even though the beach is on the other side there. You've got views of the water park here. Once again, you can pick your cabana view, whichever one you want. I would go to the one where your kids or yourself, dads love water slides too, um, and moms for that matter, but wherever they're going to spend the most time is where we recommend getting the cabana. The earlier you book, the better. They open at six months, and we highly recommend that you get them right away. So as I head into the space, I wanted to point out that these curtains do shut. You can close it off on three sides, get a ton of shade when it's a nice and sunny day. Um, you do have a breeze coming through as well. If you close it off, you're not gonna have quite the breeze. Just keep that in mind. You've got a great couch here, perfect for a kiddo's nap, but also perfect for a dad nap. I could see maybe spending a little bit of time there on the couch. Right here, you've got a coffee table. It does double as a safe. Kudos to Royal Caribbean, that's awesome. You just put in the code. The reason that's so important right here is once again, you cannot have any loose items when you're on the water slide. You gotta take off all your jewelry. I recommend you don't bring that anyways, leave that on the ship, but any of the personal items that you wanna bring to Coco Key, you can put underneath right there. Over here, you also have a nice chair. And then once again, as you look out, you've got this view. It's just cool. Everybody here is having an unbelievable time and I can picture my daughter for sure going down that a few hundred times. 
One last feature that I wanted to point out is this cooler. Every cabana on Coco Cay is gonna be stocked with water and ice in there, and it also serves at a, as a cocktail table. And then of course you can get drinks on demand in here as well. All right, so just across the exit or other entrance to the Thrill Island right there is Splash Away Bay, which is where I know instantly my daughter and my niece's nephew will be. Right here, you've got buckets of water, you've got water slides that are for the smaller kids. This is 100% complimentary and included. It's just a really fantastic space for kids to have fun because once again, when every single member of the family has their needs met, everybody's having a great time, that is a perfect vacation. So if you wanna continue your thrills, you can head up, up, and away in this amazing balloon. It's located about halfway between the Thrill Water Park and South Beach, which is just in front of me for reference there. It's got a pretty big cab down on the bottom where you can take a ton of people up in the air. Today, it's actually not, not running because it's a little bit windy up above. Makes it for a perfect day here with the, the nice breeze coming on, but uh, sometimes it does limit it. But it's just a really, really fantastic attraction. All right, so now we're headed in to aptly named South Beach, so south side of the island, as you could probably imagine, but also the reference to where many of the ships sail from, which is Miami. So this is a little touch of South Beach in the Caribbean. You've got your beach bar behind me, integral and important part of every single island experience, of course. You also have the rentals area over here, so you can rent the floating mats if you want to take them out into the ocean. Of course, with the cabana, that's going to be complimentary and included. And then over here, you have the towel checkout, and we're going to continue on to the sport court. So got the, uh, <laughs> the rim a little low there. I would uh, put on a show for you, but with the bum back and knee, doctor said absolutely not. But it looks like they're just having a great time out here playing some pickup basketball. Kids are over here practicing their dunks. Uh, and then on the right side there, you've got ping pong and the restroom. Something that I wanted to note for you was that uh, I, I found that the restrooms were constantly being cleaned. They were stocked with toilet paper. And uh, that's, you know, that's a big thing at the beach because it matters even more here when those are some of the only spaces that you have. Really appreciate that. As we continue along, you've got cornhole, you've got some different uh, other you know, sports games out here. And then of course, right now you've got beach volleyball, the ultimate, ultimate uh, beach experience, of course, as far as athletics goes. As we continue on, the next thing that we're gonna run into is the snack shack. There are quite a few snack shacks throughout the entire Coco Cay complex. They are all 100% complimentary. I really, really, really appreciate that. You got burgers, uh, you know, chicken burgers, hot dogs, French fries, kind of the classic Americana, uh, and salads, of course, as well. The salads are really good, but there's a ton of inclusions here. Everything here, except for the cabanas and the day beds, are complimentary, and I really, really appreciate that. So there's a ton of lounge chairs here. What we found as we came kind of mid-morning, because this is one of the farther spots from the ships, it filled up a little bit slower. Of course now, uh, we've, there's two ships in port today, so it's gonna fill up a little bit. But I just wanted to point out, absolutely beautiful beach. You got a long stretch that you can walk out that's very, very shallow for the kids. You do have the lifeguards that are on duty. Once again, kudos to Royal Caribbean. You also have the life jackets that you can take and use as you'd need. Another one of the fantastic cabana rental options, and that is a South Beach cabana. So follow me on in. So a couple things I wanted to point out right away. The very first one is you've got this great couch. This is a dad nap city right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely dad nap city right here. I can picture my daughter passing out there. You've got a beautiful, beautiful view out to the ocean. And I wanted to point out this really cool feature here. Right here, this is your coffee table, but it is also a safe. So you just set the lock there. Shut it, lock it up, head out into the ocean if you want to. You do get complimentary snorkel rentals included. You're also gonna get complimentary floating mats. They're just over to the side there. So you can just take them out and be right in your ocean paradise immediately. You'll notice here that you have towels. You can have them replenished as often as you like. There's actually a little bit, little button. Uh, they're gonna bring it over just a minute, but basically a little button, you press it, and it's gonna be, uh, notify your cabana steward on a watch that you're ready to go. Um, and they're gonna come over and help you with drinks, food, whatever it is that you would like to order. They've got the food and drink menus here. I gotta say the, uh, the cabana chicken sandwich is probably my go-to. Really, really delicious. And then the drinks, if you have a drink package on the ship, it's gonna carry over here. Of course, there are some drinks that are additional, specialty ones, souvenir cups, things like that. But you can choose if that's something you're interested in. One thing that I notice and I feel right now is you have an amazing breeze here coming from all sides because these slats are open, but you do have a full roof. So if it rains, you have inclement weather, you're gonna be taken care of. As I continue on, you've got an extra chair here. And then as we head out, you've got these two loungers. You can pull them back if you'd like, put them in the shade. If you burn quickly like me, or if you love the sun, this is a perfect place for it. Right here, you're gonna have your cooler. 
This is included at every single cabana on board the entire island. You've got your water in there, stocked with Evian water, and then it also doubles as a table. And then you're also gonna have two more loungers right there on the beach, put your toes in the sand, maybe even scoot them out a tiny bit more, and uh, put your toes in the water. But this is what it's all about. It's crystal clear, beautiful water. It's a perfect day at Coco Cay. So another lower cost option than the cabanas would be the day beds. It's a great option if you want to spend a little bit less money, but also you've got the bed, you've got some shade, they are covered, and then you've got the curtains that are going to pull shut. So another great place to have a home base for a family, especially if you're at South Beach. All right, so I wanted to point out one last feature of South Beach, which may be its best feature, and that is the floating bar. If you've been here, you know what I'm talking about. What better way to enjoy an adult beverage than to swim on out? hang out with a, a great group of people and friends, you know they have more fun out there than anywhere else on the island, and just sit back, relax, and enjoy Coco Cay. All right, so as we go through the snack shacks, I'm gonna get a few bites along the way. Don't always get time to eat, but we've got a long day here at Coco Cay, which is perfect. Get it, there we go. All right, let's try that mozzarella stick. Mm, chewy, delicious, right consistency. Nailed it. I'm gonna switch over to one of my healthier options. The famous South Beach Snack Shack Funnel Cake. They actually have it at all the Snack Shacks, but it's famous because it's here right now. Oh, funnel Cake. A oh, couple schools of thought on it. Some go with one drizzle, all in. Chocolate, caramel, strawberry, powdered sugar. You gotta make it as healthy as humanly possible and delicious. Cookie, that's a good looking cookie. Feels like the right consistency. Mm. Cookie good, mm, cookie. All right, so far, three for three. All right, welcome to Coco Beach Club, something I have been so excited about for such an incredibly long time, and even the entryway is absolutely beautiful. What you need to know about this is this is your luxury experience on Coco Cay. So if you are one of our customers who stays in suites, this is a perfect extension that you may want to think about purchasing because it kind of continues that experience from ship on to land. There's two ways that you can experience it. The first would be to buy a day pass. Just for reference today, when I checked my cruise planner, it was about $200, which can be a phenomenal value if you value everything that's included with it, the upgraded food, and then you'll see the space in just a minute. And then of course, you can also purchase a cabana. If you have six to eight people that are going, it also could be a tremendous value for you because you're gonna get all the wonderful cabana amenities, the cabana itself, and then of course, entrance to this exclusive club. So if you do want to enjoy Coco Beach Club, my high recommendation is to book it as soon as it goes out. The cabanas are usually sold out months and months in advance. But what's going to happen when you come in here, they're going to check you in uh, right over here. When they check you in, they give you this great little wristband here, VIP, there we go. That way you, they know that you're meant to be in this space and you can enjoy all of the amenities that are included. As we continue on in, the first space I wanted to point out on my right hand side is the restaurant. So they have a fantastic sit down menu. Got to try the lobster for sure. Always got to try the lobster. They also have this buffet over there and then uh, two hand washing stations. Please always make sure to wash your hands wherever you are before you eat food. And then you got a couple restrooms over on the side as well. Very clean. They've, they, what I've noticed is they've been constantly cleaning the entire space the whole time we've been here. All right, so now we're going to continue on into the Cocoa Beach Club. What I've found over the entire space, there's a lot of little hidden nooks and crannies where you've got seating like this, looking out at the ocean, of course. You've got a rocking chair over there, several different loungers with a couple different shade structures. So maybe you want partial shade, maybe you want the full shade right there. Uh, and then as we continue on, you've got some couches, some more chairs, and then, well, heading over to it. But what really, really sets this apart more than anything else are two features. The one are the floating bungalows that are over to my left. And then just behind me here, you have this beautiful, beautiful infinity pool. In between and all the way around, you're gonna have loungers with shade. Once again, you pay the entry fee and all of that is included. There's, not, there's no additional cost with that. So right here, you're gonna have your rainforest shower head so you can rinse off for after the pool or the ocean or kids are with you. All the sand uh, that we know is inevitably gonna be in hair and absolutely everywhere else. Over here, you've got your bar. Once again, really, really beautiful. Great breeze coming through. Behind it is the restaurant for reference. And then over on the far side, I did want to point out that this is fully accessible and they do have an accessible lift that goes into the infinity pool. All right, so now we are headed into one of the landside cabanas here at the Cocoa Beach Club. If you'll follow me on in, the very first thing that you're going to see is the family name. Uh, we asked them to leave this up. This is actually from yesterday, uh, but they have this, this cabana ready for us. You'll see these curtains as soon as you walk in. And to my right, 
you're gonna have a full closet. So you got a ton of room to put things away. If you're traveling with your family, it's always great to have a little bit of storage. You also have US plugs up above and down below. Right here, you're gonna have the mini fridge. Most of the items are included if you have a beverage package on the ship. If you don't, you're gonna pay a la carte, and then there's also some specialty items as well, as you would expect. I wanted to show you this really cool technology component here. They have, um, connect with Bluetooth as well, but they got this little screen here where you can select your own music, you can communicate with the, the cabin stewards, in fact, uh, cabana stewards, sorry about that. Um, I just spoke with them a minute ago to order food. They're gonna bring it directly here in just a couple minutes. But once again, you, you shut these curtains off, you have a ton of privacy in here, and then you can just call and have whatever you want on demand. This coffee table doubles as a safe, which is really fantastic. You can put as much stuff as you want in there and then just go ahead and set a code and lock it up. You've got this really nice couch with chaise. I noticed that everything feels ultra luxurious. Even the towels are super nice and soft and, uh, and fluffy. And well, this couch is really comfortable. I kind of want to sit down and take a nap here. I think this might be a, a dad nap place for sure. But I'm going to continue on. You've got two more chairs here look like little day beds. And then of course your loungers that look out at the really beautiful beach and this incredible ocean view in front of me. You've got the towels at every single one and this really cool ice table, it actually comes up so you can have a higher, if you're tall like me, you can have a higher table, but it's also filled with ice. When it gets a little warm here in the Bahamas, it's really nice to have a little bit of ice, I'm not gonna lie. And then one other feature that I wanted to point out is the fan. So it, you, we have a great breeze here, especially when you open up the back uh, right there, but the fan also keeps the air moving. And so it feels very, very comfortable in here. There's a couple other features that I think are super important to understand. And one is they have a phenomenal, phenomenal menu. That's all included there. So you can have surf and turf. In the morning, they actually have continental breakfast and such, but this is your private dining table. You can order from, uh, from the cabana steward. They're gonna bring it right here, or you can head over to the, to the Cocoa Beach Club, which is absolutely beautiful. All right, so now we're gonna check out the floating overwater bungalows. These are so incredibly cool. Come on in and let me show you what it's all about. First and foremost, this is a massive space for a bungalow. I, like, I'll just walk across here for a second to give you a little bit of context, but it's absolutely huge. The very first thing that I see is this super comfy couch with a chaise here. This looks like a little dad nap spot for me personally. I know I'll be there shortly. Really, really comfortable and everything in here is ultra luxurious. Even the towels are super fluffy and really, really nice. Here you have your coffee table. It actually doubles as a safe. I think that's absolutely brilliant. So right here, you've got your punch code. You create your own code. You can put your personal belongings in there to lock them away completely. And then you also have these two chairs that are almost like mini day beds and another table right here. I'm gonna take you over to the side because you have your own wet bar. You also have, come around the corner here for one second. You also have this fantastic piece of technology here. It's covered up right now. Um, but what you have in there is a screen. What the screen's gonna do is it's gonna allow you to select your own music. You can uh, call your cabin, cabana steward so that you can order food. Basically anything that you need is on demand for this particular space. You pay a pretty good price for it, but I think actually the value is really, really incredible. But once again, this opened just a couple weeks ago. You have the top technology in any single cabana in the entire industry. In addition to the phenomenal food options, and you know, just for example, you can get surf and turf. You also have continental breakfast here in the morning, but they have a huge, highly upgraded menu that is basically the equivalent to a specialty dining restaurant on, on the ship. You also have your mini fridge down here. It's all stocked. If you have a beverage package on, on uh, the ship, it's gonna work here as well, but there are some upgraded items or specialty items that may not be. If you don't have it, you can also order a la carte. Totally up to you. Then I wanted to show you this really, really cool space. So because you're floating on the water, it's a really nice amenity to actually have your own shower. So if you look over here, you just pull down right there, you've got this rainforest shower head. You see down there, you, you hose off. So if, you have, if your kids are in the beach and you have the sand, or if you hop in the ocean and you have a little salt on you, that's fantastic. You also have a little bench here so you can sit and get ready. And there's always gonna be snorkel gear. Snorkel gear is complimentary and included with all of the cabanas here at Cocoa Beach. For those of you who are curious about it, we do have two US plugs there and two there. If you are traveling and you have European appliances, maybe you wanna bring a European converter. I usually do that, but it would work here as well. And then you notice they have an umbrella because the walk out here is exposed to the elements. Once again, I think you're here to get in the water, enjoy the fun in the sun. So I don't think that's gonna matter one bit. So I have an incredible breeze right now. In fact, it feels really good and I wish I could just stay here and camp out, but definitely wanna show you the entire island today. But right here, you have a fan. Once again, keeps the air moving, makes a huge difference. That matters more when you shut all the curtains because you can shut the curtains on three sides and have a ton of privacy because you're looking directly out 
to the ocean. See the other set of curtains over here? And they do have lights here as well. Some of the ships are having later and later stays, which I think is phenomenal, but uh, just something I wanted to point out. And there you go. The absolute coolest part, especially for the kids, is you have your own slide. This is similar to like the Palafitos that they have just off the coast of Mexico, and then of course the floating overwater bungalows elsewhere in the world. But having this slide for kids to just go out, I know my daughter would probably go on it a few thousand times. Good for everybody. And the other thing with that I wanted to point out is I do see a lifeguard there, I see a lifeguard over there, and then there is lifeguards throughout. And even out in the uh, the water there, they have a gentleman on a sea dew, a lifeguard out there, and he's got an umbrella. Please, please, please always pay attention. The kids should always have their life jackets on. They are complimentary. They're on the beach. They also have them at the Cocoa Beach Club. But it's just nice that they've added those extra safety measures. I'm gonna continue along here. You've got four beach chairs and you can see the view looking directly at me. I mean, it's perfect. It's looking out at the ocean, this beautiful crystal clear water today. And then I wanted to point out this table slash ice bucket. So it'll be, it's, it is filled with ice and water. That's complimentary. And they're always going to have that here. And then the, it functions as a table as well. You notice you have one umbrella here. You have another umbrella that is shading your dining room table. Once again, all you have to do is call. They're going to bring you whatever you want here. A huge, expanded, delicious menu so you can have your lunch here and relax. One thing I did want to point out, just to be, you know, full disclosure to everybody, is, you know, it's moving a little bit. I love it. It feels perfect for me. But if you're somebody who's ultra prone to, to seasickness, you may want to consider one of the land-based cabanas. But to me, that just enhances the experience. One more thing that I'm super excited about, I love going on catamarans. That's one of my favorite things in the entire world to go sailing on a catamaran. You have this beautiful uh, catamaran net here so you can sit down, lay down, look out at the ocean. I mean, I don't think it gets any better than this, any destination in the entire world. This is phenomenal. To partner it with a cruise, I don't know. I, I know I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm super excited, but this is something that I didn't even know a cruise line could do and Royal Caribbean hit it out of the park. Oftentimes I'm asked, what is your version of, I don't know, paradise, your, uh, your perfect vacation spot? Right here, Cocoa Beach Club. Got my lounge chair. Just hanging out in the cabanas a few minutes ago with some friends. Got pineapple. This isn't any ordinary pineapple. That is a pineapple filled with delicious pina colada. Captain Morgan, shout out to my dad, coach. Would never ever pay to be here. Love him to death, but I would. This is, this is my paradise. I can imagine my daughter and my wife sitting here. You've got the crystal blue water in front of you. Get to put that flag down because they just brought me my drink. Tiny little sip. Oh. See you guys on the other side. Mm. But wait. There's more inside there. Mm. Perfect. All right, so don't worry, I am not operating machinery, but I just wanted to point out that there's a lot of advancements that Royal put into this island. Once again, $250 million is a significant amount of money, but they got these for the staff so they do quick deliveries. These are e-bikes with the big tires so they go through the sand. Uh, we were in the cabana earlier ordering some things. They got it there so quick, and this is one of the big reasons behind it. Also helps conserve a little bit of the energy for the staff members as well. Turn around, go to town, boot scootin' boogie. So let's kick this thing off. We're gonna keep progressing. Still got my pina colada, a little bit bigger than I thought it was. Told me it was a jumbo extra large. I don't know what that means, but you've got some day beds over there. Just on the other side is the largest pool in the Caribbean. We'll talk about that when we get over there. But I just wanted to switch you back over to the other side here. You've got your fresh water showers, so you can hose it down coming in or going out. And then when, one of the great things about Coco Cay in general is you have these bean bags, but it just shows that all of these kind of unexpected spaces that are all around the entire island. Um, some are in the shade, some are in the sun, and it, it, there's a lot of people here today. There's two cruise ships, but to be honest with you, I haven't really felt crowded at all. So just behind me, you can see that we have another volleyball court over there. Once again, it's been going the whole time in every place that they've had it. People are just having really, really good time. So as we continue through here, one thing that we noticed, we came through here the first time at about 11.30 and it still wasn't very crowded because this is the far side of the island as well. And so a lot of people stop or you know, end up in the, the very first spots and don't even think about this area. But you've got lots of loungers on both sides, plenty of shade over here. And uh, once again, all of those are complimentary in this area. As we continue on, you actually get a, another view of the over the water bungalows out there. 
This beach kind of extends on, so about half of it has the bungalows in front of it. And then as you continue down, you're gonna have your day beds, and then you're also going to have um, a few more of the bungalows out there. But beautiful, beautiful beach. I see a ton of people out in the water on the floaty chairs. Looking over here, you've got Beach Bar. Um, they do have bar service throughout, and then now we're gonna head up to the snack shack because it's been a few minutes since I've eaten, and I think I need to give another, uh, another item a try. So cheers, follow me up. So I'm a big fan of the chicken sandwich to begin with. We'll see. Not bad, I give it a B. It's all right. Basically, that kind of chicken sandwich is all about the condiments, so I'm gonna go load up here really quick, but tasty. Just got spoiled by Cocoa Beach Club, unfortunately. Mm. Chocolate brownie, a little caramel on top. Really good. I win. Cheers. All right, so now I am in a bit of a food coma, so to say. Could go over there and work it off, play some sports, but I'm on vacation, so I'm going for the hammock. Oh. Oh, good night, everyone. Hmm. All right, as I continue along Breezy Bay, it is indeed breezy. Feels absolutely great out here. Just reapplied some sunscreen because with the breeze, it actually doesn't feel as uh, intense and it definitely is. I'm seeing a few lobsters that have been uh, converted into human form and walking all around. It's always kind of a, a post Coco K tradition. Even when I was here the very first time in the early 90s is get back on, maybe have some braided hair, maybe looking a bit like a lobster. I'm just saying, there we go. Well, all right, we're gonna continue on. You've got more of the day beds and then also have some more of the shaded loungers over here. See about half the people are in the shade, half are out of it. And then just more beach. This is a very protected beach. There's a ton of families out there, really relaxed and chill. And then as you continue along, you have the wave runners. Basically you go as part of a tour. It's not an individual wave runner that you take out yourself like you do at some of the islands. Safety first, of course, here. And then as we continue along, we're gonna finish at, what better place? The bar. So as we continue on into Chill Island, I'm gonna head over to the bar real quick. Do you think they give free refills? What do you think? Huh? Maybe? I don't know. Check it out. I'm gonna turn around here and it's gonna magically fill up. Watch. Promise. All right, let's continue along here. You've got your life jackets over here. Once again, they're prevalent throughout the entire site. They do have lifeguards on duty at all time, but please, please, please always wear the life jackets. Pay attention to the safety measures. They're for your safety and uh, makes every bit of difference in the, in the world, how uh, cautious everybody is and how, you, how much you pay attention to that, especially with so many kids around. Uh, over here, you have lockers. They're 100% complimentary. Think about it as included with your cruise fare. So you just create a code. It's got a little instruction on there and uh, you can use that. They're all over the island. So I recommend using a spot that's close to where you're gonna sit down. Once again, you go to the very far part of the island, at the very beginning, you're gonna have a ton of space here. All these lockers will be available. So as we continue along here, this is uh, the shore excursions departure point. It's where you're gonna get on the wave runners. Any of the boats that are departing will come from here as well. Wanted to point out, uh, very famous for the swimming pigs in the Bahamas. That's an excursion you're interested in. It's something you can book on board. Same thing with Stingray City. If you haven't fed Stingrays, it is a absolute blast. Reef snorkel line and uh, sandbar getaway and then some parasailing, glass bottom boats. So you have all the traditional excursions that you would expect. This is where they're all gonna jump off from, but please, please, please book them in advance because they do fill up. Just beyond that, you also have kayak rentals, kayak tour over there, um, and uh, different kinds of rentals that you have. You see the paddles and the kayaks right there. And then as we head around the corner, we are gonna go to the Chill Island Cabanas. So right now I am at Chill Island. It's one of the cabana options that you can choose from. Come on in, I'll show you what it's all about. So as soon as you head into the space, you can see they have really beautiful, very comfortable furniture. This has got a nice couch here. I can totally picture myself sitting here. Daughter probably gonna pass out right there and uh, just having an incredible view out at the ocean. Shade and a beautiful fan, which really keeps uh, the, the air moving. So we've got a great breeze now, but if for whatever reason it doesn't, they have these large paddle fan that will uh, cool it down completely. Wanted to point out a couple things that you have here. First is this coffee table. Uh, you can't see it, but on the other side, you have a small safe. So, or sorry, the whole thing is a safe. You've got a locker there. So you can put all your belongings in there, lock it up, head on out to the water. You've got your menu. I have to recommend the, uh, the chicken sandwich. Really, really bomb diggity, absolutely delicious. Uh, but you can order from that. It is complimentary, just like most food options here on Coco K. And then they also have your drink menu. If you have a beverage package on the ship, it's gonna carry over to here. There are some specialty items like souvenir cups and things like that that are not included, but you just let them know. They're happy to take care of that for you. 
You've got this really nice JBL speaker. And then also I wanted to point out this button. All you have to do is press it. And what actually happens is it signals your cabana steward and it goes right to their watch. It's gonna alert them that they, you know, they come on over. They're gonna take your food order, your drink order, bring you extra towels, just about anything that you can imagine. All right, so as I move through the cabana, you can see you have two more chairs here. You've got two sun loungers that are in the shade. So if you're like me and burn really easily, push them back a little bit, have some nice shade. And then you've got these two great sun loungers that are looking directly out at the crystal clear blue water just in front of you. I did want to point this out. This is an ice bucket that is filled with water. It's complimentary in every single cabana on the entire island, but it also functions as a table and it's actually easy to pull it up unlike some other coolers. But what this space is all about, it's about having a nice shaded area, a gathering place for the family. I know when I travel with my daughter, my nieces and nephews, this is the perfect thing to have a quick break and then go back to playing. And then, you know, you got the ocean right in front of you. They do have lifeguards on duty at all times when the ships are in port, but please, please, please take every safety precaution. They do have life jackets. If you were all questionable in that, put the life jacket on, go out and have your perfect day. Two other great inclusions so that every member of the family is happy and satisfied. You have these floating mats. You can take them right out to the ocean. In fact, you see one out there getting ready to head on out. So you can head out and just float and uh, well, just really, really enjoy this beautiful day today. The other thing is you have complimentary snorkeling gear uh, that you can borrow from them. They also have uh, kayaks and things like that that you can rent additional, but the, the, the snorkeling gear and the mat are complimentary and included as part of your package. So I'm really, really hoping that this still works when I get home. If I push that, somebody in my house has a magic watch and anyway, can't count on that. But anyway, cabana concierge, they're gonna take care of all of your cabana needs and then the cabana stewards have just been fantastic. So just over here, you have another beach. Once again, it is pretty protected. This is a complimentary area over here. It's about, you know, not quite as far as some of the area, other areas from the ship, so it fills up a little bit quicker. But once again, you're in Chill Island. It's a very chill atmosphere, and it is family friendly as well. All right, one other great aesthetic touch, and also, well, who doesn't love a mobile bar, is this Airstream trailer that they've converted into a bar. It moves based on traffic, actually. There's a lot of data that goes on that tells Royal Caribbean, you know, what people are using, how they're using it. It's actually a smart island. You would expect that with the, what they put into it. All right, so as we head into the Chill Grill, I spotted one of my all-time favorite things in the whole wide world, soft serve. Can I have one of those, please? Oh, you are so nice, thank you. Very kindly, and I'm going for the twist. I'm going for the twist. How high can it go? Uh, oh, yeah. I used to work at Little Caesars when I was a teenager. TCBY yogurt right next door. I learned. So just like the snack shacks all throughout, they have all the burgers and hot dogs and french fries and all that jazz. But I'm going straight to the taco bar because they have fresh tortillas. In fact, I might just eat tortillas all day. You got the, the dough balls, put them in a little bit of flour. You got this incredible machine here. He drops it right in the top comes down, you can see it cooking right there. Eep. Delicious. There are a few things in life more delicious than that with a little bit of butter, a little bit of salt, a little bit of happiness. But also you've got a huge toppings bar. This is a massive area. They've got a massive panini grill as well where they're making um, ribeye sandwiches, Philly cheesesteaks and things along those lines. And then all your traditional corn on the cob, burgers, hot dogs, all that kind of stuff all the way along here. And uh, more beverage stations on the other side. All right, so as we continue along here, you're gonna have the diver's den. You've got all kinds of every, everything related to uh, any diving, snorkeling, rentals, tours, and everything related to that. Um, you're also gonna have the Bahamian retail. So there's a mix there. You may wanna bring a little cash uh, along because some of the, the local merchants, that's what they would take. But there's also uh, places where you can use your CPAS card, and then there's also uh, where you can use credit card as well. All right, so now I'm headed into the Oasis Lagoon. I know once again, I'm gonna say this is the biggest, but this is the largest freshwater pool in all of the Caribbean. So as we head up the stairs, I wanted to point out a little bit about the logistics of the pool. So on the far side over here, you're gonna have a low entry level so the kids can walk in. You can kind of get a scope about how big this entire area is. They've got these great cutouts that are kind of bar areas over there. Um, deeper end is over here. I see a lot of the kids with scuba gear and then of course, sorry, snorkeling gear. Uh, but of course, you also have the life jackets. They're prevalent for the kids. Please, once again, use them. But what makes this awesome and what makes this a true Caribbean experience is the giant palapa right here, the bar, everybody in the bar at the pool. Uh, you got a ton of seats all the way along there. Everybody's got a smile on their face, a drink in their hand, and uh, just having a great time. This is kind of a unique blend of a fantastic family option and also an adult option. There's places that are a little more kid friendly in here. And then of course you got the bar. So once again, on vacation, everybody's satisfied, a little bit of everything for everyone. 
right, so a great option at the Oasis Lagoon would be one of the cabanas. So if you're gonna enjoy the, the lagoon throughout the day, you've got, a of course, the party going on behind me. You can probably hear it right now. The huge palapa, the bar. This is perfect for that because you can head into the pool. Who doesn't love a pool bar? Come back here, sit down, chill, and relax. So just like all of the cabanas, you have this great little table here. So it's a cocktail table, opens up, and you're gonna have ice and water in there. They've got Evian water stocked for every single cabana on Coco Cay. I did want to point out you have these four loungers here. So right there you've got there, you can put your toes in the sand. Looking out, you see the pools just in front of me here. Uh, right in front of this is actually complimentary loungers and umbrellas as well. So as we come in, you've got two more loungers here. Right here is a little whiteboard where they're gonna put your name and greet you and welcome you to this Coke perfect day experience. You've got two chairs right here. I'll probably use them to put my feet up, especially with the knee the way it is today. But as you can see, the cabana, you've got a fan. It actually feels really, really good because this is kind of tucked back in the jungle. It's got a little bit of a more remote feel to it. It's actually kind of cool with the, the palm trees on every single side, but this huge fan really gets the air moving, so it feels nice and cool. I'm gonna continue along. You've got this great ottoman there, perfect to, uh, to maybe put up a, put a game there. Right here, I see my couch anyways. I know in my family, dad would well, be putting my feet up here, chilling, relaxing. But I wanted to point out right here, you have your coffee table. Royal also integrated a safe into it. So you just punch your code in, go ahead and shut the door. You can go out and leave your belongings here, head into the Oasis pool and take advantage of what it's all about. So vacation is all about vacating the experience that you have at home. I don't know about you guys, but I do not have a push to refuel button. As part of this cabana, you have a personal cabana attendant. They are awesome. They're gonna bring you food, they'll bring you your drinks. All you gotta do is hit the button and it actually goes to their watch and it notifies them that you're there. A couple of the things I love to point out right here, you've got the switch for the fan. You also have two US plugs. I always bring with my, my little uh, USB splitter here so that I can plug that in and maybe charge multiple devices. But what this cabana is about is right here, sitting back, relaxing. You've got the music in the background. You've got the family playing and having an excellent time. Those who want to sit in the sun are sitting in the sun. Dad's back here in the shade and uh, just having a perfect day. So behind me is Harbor Beach. You can see this is another great family-friendly option. You've got a pretty low grade. Um, it does get deep as you head out, but those of you who are old school Coco Cay fans would remember that this is where the uh, tender station used to be. So this is all an artificial beach that they created when they did the massive construction here. But what's nice about this is it's not too far from the ship. In fact, if you cross over the bridge, turn right, you're right back out to the ship. Another great option for dining is gonna be Skipper's Grill. So it's right in front of me right now. Um, the, the two large dining options are very, very similar. They have pretty much the same thing. But what I love is they have dining options completely spread out. So none of them complete felt, uh, felt overrun, I would say. Um, I, I, I've seen that a lot, especially in the olden days uh, when they would kind of have a shorter window of uh, food time when they were feeding as well. Feeding, I guess that's what happens on a cruise ship, right? <laughs> a shorter window of time when they had uh, food options available. But by extending it longer, so you have it for about five hours or so, what I found is people kind of spread out, some people get back on the ship, and it was never overly crowded. All right, so you never know who you're gonna run into at Captain Jack's. It may even be a celebrity, one of my all-time favorites. Make sure you check out our Anthem of the Seas tour. If you love Matt Yee as much as I do, here he is, right there. So, one of the best shows in the Schooner Bar. You guys all know that it's all about the Schooner Bar and amazing entertainers, and you know, thank you. You're amazing, appreciate it, perfect. I will be there at 9.30 tonight, and then I will go down to the liquor store on level four and buy his CD at the cash register. Ching, ching. There we go. All right. Let's talk a little bit about Captain Jack's, shall we? Uh, this is uh, you know, an adult venue. You see these swings, make it nice and fun. Feels like you're, to me, you're kind of in a Kenny Chesney album. You got some uh, Caribbean music in the background, beautiful bar behind me here. It's right off the ship. So if you don't want to walk too far and maybe you just want to walk to the first bar that's awesome and stop, this could be it. Chicken wings, really, really good. Uh, anything with habanero in it makes me pretty happy. And uh, well, the jerk chicken's fantastic. We're in the Bahamas. You may want to go that route as well. Also, you have this great view looking out at Harbor Beach in the, in the background. So maybe uh, dad gets to sit here with the Corona in his hand and uh, maybe kids go play for a little bit and come on back and say hi to me. Thank you so much for joining me today on this tour of Coco Key, Coco K, Coco Bongo, whatever you want to call it. It is the perfect 
day experience that makes it exceptional. Just wanted to point out, you got the two ships behind me today. You got Navigator and Anthem in here. You've got the Thrill, the most extreme water slide in uh, North America. And it's an incredible thrill park, the entire thing, the wave pool, all of it. And as we head over, that's where it all started here. It's the old tender port for, uh, for Coco KY. I went the first time, once again, 1991, when I was a kid and I was blown away by it then. No idea that it'd be anything like this now. And then you've got a really chill area here. You got the bean bags, uh, harbor, you know, harbor beach area. But essentially, this is pure perfection for a private island experience. Thank you so much. Please, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, make sure that you hit the bell for notifications so that you can learn about all the content we have coming up. We've got a ton more Royal Caribbean coming out and uh, both of those ships there, we've got all the rooms if you want to check those out as well, along with...